I look so tired. Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is a video for moms or moms-to-be. I'm not a professional mom. I still feel like I'm guessing at pretty much everything I do. Eloise is 20 months old and she has pretty good sleep habits. Sometimes not so much. We travel a lot. I think she's been on over 40 flights or something and we moved to a different country during her life and so there's a lot of factors that have affected her sleep at different times but I know I have probably googled about babies sleep more than I have googled anything else <laughs> in my life maybe the struggle of getting your baby to sleep through the night is a real thing and I know some babies are just such good sleepers and you don't really have to do anything and I'm really excited for you moms who get babies like that. I don't think I am that mom but then watch my next baby will sleep worse than this one and then I'll be like I didn't appreciate it. I'm gonna talk to you quickly about sleep. When Eloise was first born I remember there was a time I think maybe she was like 10 days old and I was supposed to be taking a nap because I was so 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 tired and Sean came in and I was awake on my phone googling how long can someone Someone live without sleep because I was sure I was gonna die with the lack of sleep that I had gotten and Sean was like you have to get off your phone this is your sleep time and I was like I don't think I'm gonna make it so <laughs> if you're a new mom I remember that feeling and I just want you to know you're gonna be okay you're gonna get more sleep you've got it good job first when Eloise was born she slept in a bassinet in my room next to me and then eventually she transitioned into a pack-and-play and then that was still in my room and then when she was like three or four months old she moved to a crib in her own room which was right next to my room you can watch about that in the video that we did on Carly Chrisman's channel which was like a nursery design video that's so cute and so good you should watch it but anyway whenever we did that video that's when Eloise switched to her own room and when she was in her own room she slept really really good not through the night but there was a huge improvement uh, maybe because I wasn't right next to her and she didn't want me as much I'm not so sure we didn't officially do any sort of sleep training until she was nine months old because we traveled so much before that that uh, there just wasn't a window of time that I felt like would be good but we did have some habits that I feel like helped her with her sleep and that was during the day whenever she would wake up I would nurse her or feed her right then and then she would be awake and then whenever I put her to sleep I didn't like rock her to sleep or nurse her to sleep I let her put herself to sleep and I used a lot of information that I got off of mom blogs and baby center uh, if you look up baby center online they have all kinds of information for you and I was tracking with baby center always to figure out how much sleep Eloise needed at different times and I was tracking with them to figure out whenever Eloise was gonna need to drop a nap I never initiated her dropping a nap she did herself but all of that I was like researching along the way because I felt like I had no idea so just use resources that are available to you baby center is super helpful and then there's like all kinds of moms who are really really good at life and they're posting all the time on blogs so you can search for those i'll try and link some down below so that you can know what i've looked into and i also would like ask on facebook sometimes for help if you post anything on facebook about motherhood you're going to get all kinds of input so just kind of filter it through what feels right in your own heart when it came time for sleep training when eloise was nine months old we decided to do our own version of cry it out which was mild i was a little too anxious to just let her cry forever but we did a thing where we started with her nap times and we put her down and just let her cry a little bit and then she'd fall asleep and naps actually were pretty easy compared to nighttime nighttime my girl loves nursing she's still nursing she still loves it we're working on it we'll talk about that another time so nighttime was what I was most intimidated by the way that we did sleep training was instead of me going in at night Sean went in uh, checked her diaper it was when we knew that she didn't need to eat in the night so that was the doctor helped me to know when that was it was whenever it felt right to me I had talked to friends who had babies my age and they all said that their kids could sleep through the night so it was just I figured it out there's no like black and white on this so if you want to wait longer or try sleep training earlier for my next child I'll probably try sleep training earlier and that's what I encouraged my sister to do because I know that it's possible sleep training for Eloise what we did was Sean would go in instead of me check on her maybe even hold her and then tell her everything was okay and lay her back down she's not in danger when she's crying she's not Basically, she's just mad. Yeah, and she wants me, and that's her way of expressing that she wants me, but she's okay, and sleep training, in my mind, 
you're teaching them how to sleep. It's just like we teach them how to eat and we teach them how to talk and walk. Teaching them to be a good sleeper is, in my mind, a really healthy, beneficial thing for them and for me. So, Sean went in. Okay, there's a really funny moment that I'm like super embarrassed to tell you about because it just feels so bad, but here's what happened. Sean was sleeping on the couch right outside Eloise's door because what we decided was that I was gonna stay in bed even though I was gonna be awake the whole time she was crying. I wasn't gonna leave my bedroom because it would be too tempting for me to go into her room and pick her up and nurse her and put her back down and we would never sleep through the night. We did that. Eloise cried at one point in the night and she cried for kind of a long time, like an hour. <laughs> so sorry, this is like terrible. Okay, so I'm in my bed and I'm like, wow, Sean's doing so good taking care of her, she's crying, but I could hear the cry go from like really big to like more mellow, big, not so much. And so I, I, I was like, wow, he just must be taking good care of her. He's a really good dad, so that wouldn't be a surprise. After an hour of her crying up and down, she falls asleep. I go out to ask Sean, how did it go? What did you do? And he wakes up and he's like, what are you talking about? I was like, how did you do with Eloise? And he's like, she's doing so good. She hasn't woken up yet. Meaning he slept through that whole thing. So I'm awake, anxious in my bed because our little girl's crying her head off and Sean sleeps through the whole thing. But then Eloise ended up sleeping and didn't wake up again that night. And then the next night, she didn't wake up at all during that stretch. And by the third night, she slept through the entire night by herself. So what that taught me was that it was okay to let her cry sometimes. We have never done it like that again. Whenever, we've had to do sleep training multiple times, especially after traveling and stuff. And what we do is either I go in and I just tell her it's okay, make sure she hasn't pooped or something, put her back in her bed, or I don't pick her up at all. The hard thing is, the older they get, the more stressful sleep training is because they're standing in their crib and jumping up and down and you know, calling for you. Eloise talked so early, so she would be like, mama, all done, night night, nurse nurse, on the couch. Yeah, try and sleep train as early as you feel comfortable and know that it's gonna go by quickly. If you can just let them cry. Some moms like to sit in the room with them until they fall back asleep. For me personally, I feel complete peace about this decision to let her cry until she falls back to sleep and it has worked really well for our family. If you don't feel comfortable like that, there are other options online and you can read about them and do them and you have my full support and I'd love to learn from you. If you have things that I should know, leave them in the comments, tell other people and maybe we'll do that for our next baby. But for Eloise, it's working. So right now, since we just traveled again back from the States to Spain, she's waking up a few times in the night. Last night, she only woke up one time, which is great. Sean's traveling, so I'm the one who's doing some sleep training. I think it's going okay, but yeah, it's, it's a process. And eventually she'll sleep through the night and we'll remember these days and it'll just be cute, funny memories. Right now, they're pretty exhausting and long nights are the worst. And whenever you have them, just know that you're okay. It's gonna get easier. You're doing really good, get some coffee, uh, maybe go for a walk or something, take naps when your baby naps. And yeah, you're raising a little baby, you're doing such a good job. So I hope that that helps you. I have vlog footage of times that we sleep trained. I just have to find it and then I can make a more comprehensive video of what we did, including really sad footage of her crying, if I can find it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it with mom friends if you want. If you're a mom and there's questions that you have, will you write me and let me know and I'll try and answer your questions specifically. I don't feel super Super confident in my motherhood tips because I don't really feel confident in being a mom but I'm trying so I'm happy to share with you as my friend the stuff that I'm doing but I'm not sharing as a professional who knows you know all the right answers I will see you tomorrow thank you so much for watching bye the race starts now oh, oh who's gonna win 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 oh you won Eloise is in the house